All right, we're here with Coach David Nelson following the Tigers' by district win over Grand Saline. Coach, talk to me a little bit about tonight's game. Uh, came out, you know, early. Uh, executed very well, extremely well on offense and defense. Uh, we were able to get a pretty sizable lead there in the first half, going into halftime, and then came right back at the second half and uh, exactly what we had planned on doing and what we had planned on. Go, man. You got to take it. You no, got to take it. No, no, we can man. do it. We can do it round 16. No, come on. No. You got to take it. Come on. Hey, get him. 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 Yes, I'm wet again. Uh, again, came back out the second half. Executed our plan to a T. Right after it was, uh, right after we had talked about it. Hey, y'all get your stuff and go. And uh, we're able to get some young guys in uh, to help get them some experience, you know, because that's what the future of the program is all about. And having opportunities like this to be able to keep on continuing, keep on playing football. So, thought we did a great job overall. Coach, we talked a lot last week about your seniors, about the, the, the large senior class that you have. How big is a game like tonight in the first round of the playoffs where you were able to get so many of the young guys in and get them some experience? It was huge for us, you know. Those guys right there, that senior class, they were they were afforded the same opportunity. And I believe that's the reason why they're, so, they're as good as they are right now, you know, just being able to get eight extra games over the past two years of their career. It's one extra game now for some of these young guys and, and you know, another notch on their belt, you know, especially with the fact that, you know, some of the games for the JV got canceled this year. Uh, being able to make up for that and being able to get them some more playing time uh, is always helpful for the program. Let's talk about a little, talk a little bit about who the next opponent might be. I know it's between Washcom and is it New, New Waverly? New Waverly, yeah. Uh, I, they do not play until tomorrow. What do you know about either one of those going forward? Uh, I know Washcom is pretty good. You know, they were in our district for the last two years. Uh, so we got a little bit of history with them. Uh, we're able to, uh, you know, go back and recount, you know, what they've been doing with the same coach staff uh, and see what some of those younger guys that were on the team last year have been able to accomplish this year. Uh, as far as New Waverly goes, uh, we've had some films on them in the past just because of, uh, you know, that was the way that we went in the playoffs last year uh, with playing Anderson Shiro and Corrigan and Newton out of that district. So we're able to see some of those films from them. It's going to be, a, you know, a little bit more of a learning curve for us playing those guys just because we need to uh, – Make sure that we break down and actually start studying their guys if that's who it ends up being. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, we'll be looking forward to information as to who we're play who and when and where we're playing next. And we'll be looking forward to talking to you after the next next win. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. <laughs>